Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Rebecca Elaine and today I'm going to be unboxing my brand new vlogging camera and the bundle that I got from Amazon. Um, so we'll just jump right in. Um, within the bundle, the very first thing that I got is the actual camera. This is the Sony ZV-1 Compact Digital Vlogging 4K HDR video camera. Um, it's specifically made for content creators and vloggers. Next, there's the Lexer Professional SD memory card. It's only 64 gigs, but it's good enough to get you started. The next thing that was in there that I thought was pretty cool that I forgot actually was the Corel Paint Shop Pro software and Corel Video Studios SE software. Um, I have never used that before, but maybe I'll give it a try. Um, it also came with a little cleaning kit that will open up a bit later. Then it comes with this um, this mount and we'll talk about that in a second as well so this is everything that came in the kit and now we're going to just break down each individual item so we'll start with this compact tripod grip it's 12 inches tall and it can be used as a vlogging stick or a tripod um, i also like that it has a um, leveler on there so you can know if your camera is getting the proper angles which is always important if you're a becoming vlogger like myself um, the next thing that i'm going to open up is the cleaning kit that should oh nope <laughs> i'm going to show you guys the um i guess it's like a, a traveling case you can say um, and it's for the camera so it comes with this strap that can connect to um, two hooks that's in the back that i'll point out in just a second here um, it also has this little pocket in the front where I'm keeping the strap. Um, in my opinion, that pocket can be used to keep any new batteries or SD cards. Um, what I'm showing you there is it also has a little strap where you can connect it to a backpack or a belt or whatever. Um, super helpful and convenient. Now here's the cleaning kit. Um, the cleaning kit I thought was also pretty convenient and it's something that I've never purchased personally for any cameras that I own. So it's nice to have it now. Um, within the kit, it has this little like blower thing and I'm guessing it just blows the dust off the equipment. Um, it also has two little brushes. This is the first one and it's really soft and so it shouldn't scratch the screen. And I really like the bristles. And like I said, um, it has another one. This is like a little spray that I think is also helpful to clean the screen. Again, I've never used like a kit before. Um, so I don't know, I'm gonna have to work it out. Um, but this is the other brush. And I actually really like this brush because it looks like a pen and it's very compact. So this is probably the one that I'll be using more often than not. Um, next thing that's in there are some little papers, but I accidentally cut it off, so whatever. Uh, but then here are two uh, like microfiber um, cloths that you can use to, again, uh, clean the screen. So overall, a really nice cleaning kit that I will definitely use and it will come in handy for me. Um, again, the SD card, I already talked about that already, so I'm just going to show you once again. And last but not least we're going to go ahead and actually open the camera i really like this camera from the moment that i saw it online i was actually online shopping for um, my next camera because i currently use the osmo pocket that's what i'm filming this on and i dropped it about a week ago and i messed up the sound so i needed a new one um, so speaking of sound this actually came with this little um i don't know what's the right word to call it y'all i'm not a professional here but it helps to block the wind when you're doing, um, when you're recording and vlogging, it'll kind of cut the wind out. So hopefully you can hear better. So we'll see how that works. Um, actually, I have a vlog that I recorded this morning that um, I was outside. So hopefully it works well. Um, but back to the camera. So it's really sleek. It looks really nice. It's specifically made for vlogging. So I really enjoy that about it. Um, so with that being said, I really, really like this, that you can pull the screen out and you can see yourself while you're speaking. For me, that was a very important feature because um, I just feel more confident when I'm speaking and I know what I look like. I don't have any crust in my eyes or if I do, I can catch it without recording a whole vlog. Um, as you can see my Osmo pocket there in the corner um, or on the screen. But so I really enjoy that feature of this camera. There are a lot more features that I have to actually um, play around with and get used to. Again, I'm not a professional whatsoever, so I just got it and started shooting. And so that's why this is just an unboxing and not a full review. 
but um again i genuinely or generally like it um one thing that i found that i did really like is that it has a button that you can push so that the focus will zoom in um, on your face and not your background and that was an issue that i was having with the samsung camera that i was using at some point at one point so i really enjoy it so here i'm showing you guys the batteries um, you have to charge the battery in the camera as it stands um, and it has the micro USB port so that you can just um, plug the camera right up to um, whatever device or to the wall and let it charge. Um, but you can also buy a separate um, portable or a separate charger and additional batteries. So that's what I did. Um, right here I'm just showing you guys the setup and as I was setting it up um, this thing popped up where you can actually um, download an app on your phone um, really quickly if you can see I keep touching the screen because for the most part I keep thinking that it's touch screen and it's not um, but you can touch the screen to like focus on your face but that's about it anyway it has the app that you can use and um, it basically sends photos that you take directly to your phone so that's very helpful because it kind of um, you know basically when you take a nice photo you probably want to post it right away so it gives you that option um, instead of having to wait and connect to your computer so I really enjoyed that um, last thing I wanted to do is just give you guys a view of um, how it looks when you turn it on the screen actually extend or the lens actually extends this one does not have a detachable lens um, but for the lens that's on there it actually works really well and um, the quality from what I've seen so far is really nice. Um, this is the micro USB port that I was telling you about, but for some reason my Osmo Pocket would not would not focus so you guys can see it. But um, I just wanted to show you that it had that port on the side. Um, it also has a port for external microphone if you wanted it and then the HDMI. Um, so the last thing I'm just going to show you all is how it looks when it's charging. Again, you have to charge it. Um, charge the battery while it's in the camera but I am waiting on my separate battery chargers to come in on Monday. I will link this in the description box below. Overall from the unboxing I love this camera. I'll be using it for my next couple videos so you guys can let me know what you think of it as well. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.